Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If your car is overheating, then today's your lucky day. Because I'm going to show you how to fix a car that overheats. Now many things can cause a car to overheat, so start with the basics. Check the radiator fluid. When it's cold, take the radiator cap and look inside. In this case, it's bone dry. So the next thing to do is to pressure test the system to check for leaks. Use this pressure leak testing kit I've had for years. And don't worry, if you want to do it yourself, hey, you can buy these things used for 30 bucks, and some of the new ones only cost about $70. Just hook it up to the radiator, then pump up the pressure. And in this case, you can see it's leaking right out of the radiator. The radiator is just full of holes. Now, this case was pretty easy. There was a hole in the radiator. But if it was more complex, you watch the pressure on the gauge and see if it starts to move down. Pump it up to like 16 pounds pressure or so and watch the gauge. And if it starts dropping like this, you know there's a leak and you have to find where the squirt is coming from. But let's say you pressure tested it and there weren't any leaks at all. What do you do next? Well, realize that the radiator caps are supposed to hold pressure in. So if they're worn and rusty like this one, you might just need a new radiator cap. Now there are machines that test radiator caps, but hey, they're so cheap, just go buy another one and stick it on. Now if that doesn't fix it, the next thing to check is the cooling fans. So start the car up, and then turn the AC on to full blast. And then check the cooling fans to see if they're working back here. And in this case, you can see the left fan and the right fan is turning. If the fans aren't working, there won't be enough air sucked through the radiator and it'll overheat. And when they don't work, check the fan motors, they often burn out. To check to see if the motors burn out, just get a little jumper wire and stick one end on the positive cable of the battery and stick the other end on the red cable that feeds the motor. If the fan doesn't start spinning, you'll know the motor is burned out. But let's say the fans are working fine, well, then you might have a bad thermostat. 